Welcome to the R video tutorial on working with text in R, part one. Okay, so this is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. We are going to go and get the mifish.csv dataset from the repository, which is in the link below. And we're going to read this in. So here we have our data set already set up to read in. I'm going to run it, read it in. And you'll see over here I have 1,217 observations of two variables. And here I have uh, ran the header of it. So you can see it has species and location. I have smallmouth bass, catfish, crappie, largemouth bass, catfish, steelhead, and so on. And I have a location. And these are different locations uh, around a specific uh, island in Michigan. And people were asked to report what they had caught. And notice none of this is numeric in the sense of when people bring in a fish, it's the smallmouth bass. It's not a five. They might have five smallmouth bass, but they have a smallmouth bass, and it was caught at location SC1. So each row corresponds to one fish slash location combination. All right, so the first thing we'd like to do is probably just do a quick summary of this, and that's really not what we're going to be about here, but we should actually do it just so you can recall what, how to run a table on this. Now, a table will just do what we think it should do. It will create a table. Here, let me move this up. That has location, has the different locations, has the different species, and has the counts in it so that you can look and see how the counts work. Now, you could use this for lots of other things, uh, but it does have a table that does summarize it into uh, specific values. But what we're really interested in, so let's put a comment about that first before we change subject here. Uh, create a table that summarizes the frequency. Okay, so let's jump on here. What we really want to do is actually work with the text, okay? Um, so we want to be able to search this text, look for different things in the text, and that's really what we're going to be after. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is figure out how to pull substrings out of a text uh, so we don't need all of it, So, and, and then do logic with it. Okay, so the first thing we might want to do is pull the first letter or first few letters. Uh, so let's just do the first letter at the moment from a string. And that's what a text is called. So text is called strings. Uh, so we'll put here text and we can just pull the first letter and we're gonna be interested in the location here. So we can do substring, pops up. We can pull from our text that we have here. Let's see, our text is mi fish one dollar sign location. And that's the one we're interested in. Oh, let me go back. Location. And we can look at this. So let's take and run this. And this is going to give us an awful lot of these things. Uh, notice it says start. It needs a start value. We want to start at one. We want to end at one. So let's put start and stop in here because these are our important values. Uh, so this tells us which value to start and stop at. And when I say start and stop at, I mean in the actual word. So you'll see this here in just a second. So if I run this, you can see I just get H, 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 A, 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 S, S, S. Um, so I have all of this together here. But if I'm interested in this, notice that if I were to just do this for a small group. So I'm going to take this and Copy and paste it. We love copy and paste. So I'm going to take this, and I'm only going to do the first 10 rows. Actually, I only need to go the first five, probably. Uh, yeah, let's do the first five. And then I'm going to actually print out the first five rows as well. I'm going to put that right above it, just so we can see what's going on here. So if I do the first five rows, this is what I get. Notice it has those levels down here at the bottom, and this will be a problem for later. Uh, so this is SC1, 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 and these are all the levels that are available. Now, this is going, to, if I run this, this grabs the first letter out of it. So you can see here S, and now this is in quotes, so this is not a factor. When you have factors, it will have levels. But here we have it in quotes, and you can see it just grabbed the first one. I can do the same thing if I want to with two. So I can go two and two, and let's see what this does. If I run this, 
Notice it grabs the second one, starts at the second position in the string, uh, and stops at the second position. If I wanted to, I could pull the last one if I wanted to. So for example, the third position. So the character that's in the third position. And that's why this data set's kind of easy to work with, because you can see what's going on directly. So if I run both of these, you can see I have one, 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 one at the end of this. And so you see one, 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 one. And this helps us be able to grab specific things from a string. Okay, so for example, if I want to pull off like uh, some specific list, I can have, uh, for example, I know that the first three characters are something. I can just grab the first three characters if I need them. So let's do this one more time. I'm going to grab the first two characters, and you can see what it does. So we don't need to start at three. We don't need to just go one over. So you can go and run this, and you can see now it's SC. So it'll pull whatever I want. I can also do two and three if I wish, and this should give me C1 across it. Okay, so substring allows us to grab substrings, but we have to know where to start and where to stop in the substring. Otherwise, we won't know what to do, okay? So we have to keep that in mind. All right, so we can, now that we know how to read a little bit about substrings and pull them out of character vector, what we can do next is learn how to search a character vector for specific words. All right, but we'll do that in the next video. So see you there.